Let's give it a go. Patra stumble. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, and this, is it a trap as well? Right, now what are you going to do? Oops, bloody reminder popping up. Bugger off. Whose go is it? It's not Patrice's. Patrice is paralysed. Where... James, why can't you move? Go up there. Oh, because I wasn't actually... I needed to make sure I was clicked in. Can you... So you can... He's got a higher speed than you, so you can actually get close enough to him. Okay, that's a shame. What about you? Oh, of course you don't need to because you've got a crossbow, haven't you? Yes, I wish I'd remembered that before I sent you off chasing after them. Oh, you know, he's not doing too bad still. Can you kill him? No, I thought not. Right, okay, crossbow it is. Hopefully. Bailey misses. Ooh, well done. Luckily, a enchanted quarrel. Now oh, is it James's go again? Can you can you reach him, James? Yeah, go on. He's running away now. Um, let's poison him. If uh, we can hit him, probably not. No, thought not. Go on, get him. Don't hit James, Locklear. I won't be happy if you hit James. Right, okay. Right, okay, so where's this bloody machine then? The party's abilities have increased. It's completely irrelevant. Um. I think the rift machine's round about there. Let's just save it first. Hello, anything here that looks like a rift machine? Oh! Oh, that's it! Oh, that's bloody obvious. I've got to say, I was expecting something much bigger than that. Let's click on it. Here we go, are you ready for this then? Goodbye. Goodbye, James. James. Goodbye, Locklear. Heather. Be nice knowing you. James held the Warney in his hand. I pray to wish that this wooden gym works, he said. Though I hate to think about the fate of the kingdom resting on this little experiment, I fear that, th uh, that this is the truth of it. He took a deep breath. Well, shall we give it a try? Use! The Warney arced gratefully, gracefully through the air. James grunted loudly, nearly falling from the momentum of his throw. He glanced up just in time to see the strange wooden object pass between the two crystal top posts. The Warney never made it to the ground. Powerful lightning-like blasts rocketed out from each crystal, ripping it into thousands of tiny fireflies of light that floated gently downward to, the, to a cold death on the dusty forest floor. The ground trembled, and before they could utter a sound, an anonymous humming buzz rolled towards them. Growing in intensity with each revolution, it rose before them, striking like a hammer blow, knocking them from their feet in a roaring rush of energy and sound. Still dazed, they watched in horror as the, as the energy storm reversed direction. Suddenly, it was rushing back through the rift machine, sucking leaves and dirt and small stones with it. Well, that was impressive. Oh! <laughs> I can see what's going to happen here. An angry scream of air ra raked at James and Lockley like the claw of an invisible beast, tugging at them as if to stuff them whole into the insatiable black moor of the collapsing roof machine. Desperately, they called out to Patris to grab onto something, but for him it was too late. Yes! Oh yes, this is payback time. Off you go, Patris. Stay back, stay back. Serves you right. So is he dead then? Please, somebody tell me he's dead. Spell weavers. What does that mean? Chapter eight of Lands Afar. Of 
So yeah, goodbye James, goodbye Locklear, up yours, Patrice, wherever you've ended up. Golden sweat traced his jawline, discomforted in the unrelenting heat, he stripped back his shirt sleeves and with passing humour noted the development of his sunburns. Within a month he doubted even his closest of kin would recognise him. His moonlight pale skin tinged a light almond colour colour and his brownish hair streaked with golden highlights. All things considered, he felt very differently about himself now, felt more aware that there were bigger problems in the world than his own. Still, it was difficult not to dwell on his sudden disability. Oh, Owen, what? Owen's disabled? Owen contemplated re resuming the meditations that had occupied him the length of the morning, but decided that in the space of four hours he had learned nothing he hadn't already deduced intuitively. For some reason, his magical abilities were useless in this alien environment and the prospect frightened him nearly beyond reason. Another week beneath this strange sun and I shall seem pale next to you, Gareth shouted as he hiked back up the path, the dark strands of his hair dancing in a hot breeze. This magician pug must walk without leaving footprints. I can find no evidence of him. How progress your meditations? Owen shrugged. No look, I've tried everything from lesser path cantrips to greater path incantations. Nothing works. It's almost as if there were no mana here. Arcing his eyebrows inquisitively, Gareth motioned for the boy to continue. Most people misunderstand the way that magic works, so inexplained. As a magician, I don't have power within me. All I know are a series of words and actions that help me gather the power of mana, or mana, from the natural world. If, however, there is no mana for me to collect, then all my magical tra training is futile and powerless. Would the same be true of Pug? Owen nodded. He would be as helpless as I am. Worse, perhaps, if I, if I were accustomed to having the kind of command that he has and suddenly lost it. He could be in very dire danger, Gareth said, finishing the thought. Leaning over, he fetched Owen's staff from where it lay discarded in the sand. I think that makes our journey all the more urgent. Ooh. Chapter 8 of Lands Afar, a save Pug and Gamina. Yeah, we're on... Um yeah, we're somewhere else now, aren't we? Uh, come looking for Bug. And this is where you end up. The arse end of nowhere. I've done a lot of swearing in this video, haven't I? But, yeah. It's been a bit frustrating. So, where are we on the map, then? We're nowhere on the map. Look. Look, we're not at Sethanon or Egli or... Anywhere, anyway. Let's not go into all that. We've, um, we're carrying on now, chapter 8. Well, we're not carrying on now, we'll carry on in, in the next session. Chapter 8, only two more to go. And I believe that's the end of the hard combat, so I remember reading about it somewhere that after chapter 7 there are no more difficult combats. And I bloody hope that's true, because that, that, those last two were bloody awful. Right, on that note, I'm going to finish it here and we'll see you next time. And the music's different, I was just listening to it there. It's different, isn't it, now we're on a different planet or wherever it is we are. Just thought I'd mention.